Welcome to Black Enterprise Business Report, your ultimate source to achieve wealth for life. I'm Caroline Clark. Coming up, we're at the New York Stock Exchange with Wealth for Life tips, plus an entrepreneur of the week whose success is blossoming. And finally, avoiding luggage fees by packing like a pro. But first, he's one of America's most powerful black executives, uploading a new generation of technology. Take a look. He's IBM's Senior Vice President of Systems and Technology, a division he's built into an $18 billion a year powerhouse. 52-year-old Rodney Atkins has just been named Black Enterprise Magazine's 2011 Corporate Executive of the Year, something he never imagined when he started at Big Blue 30 years ago. I recall joining IBM um, as a uh, really eager engineer, and my goal at that time uh, was to be a great engineer. And I must admit that, you know, as time progressed, I would say I evolved into the role that I have today. And that role is uh, being responsible for some of the most uh, significant technologies that we think is going to shape our industry and shape the 21st century. One of those recent innovations was Watson, an IBM computer that wiped away its human competition in an epic battle this year on Jeopardy. This is Jeopardy, the IBM Challenge. Making its first appearance on our national television program. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Watson. What is Sauron? Sauron is right. The computer company hit its 100th anniversary in June, with $100 billion in annual sales, including a dazzling second quarter showing from Atkins' 80,000-strong division up 17% from last year. Now I have, in terms of people might call it a collaborative style, uh, where I do look for opportunities to uh, deliver teamwork at its best. Do you feel that that is something that you came to IBM with in some significant core way? Well, I would say uh, that was refined and tuned here at IBM, but I also like to think that I had enough experiences leading up to IBM uh, that established a foundation. One of the most uh, incredible mentoring opportunities I had was um, my martial arts teacher. But he would always talk about execution and speed, execution and speed. And it was this combination of balance, focus, and timing. And when you, when you sort of think about that equation, uh, that applies to business. You mentioned that when you started out, um, you really just thought, hey, I'm an engineer. That's what I'm going to do, be a worker bee. And, and you went through an evolutionary process. One of the things um, that I typically advise um, young engineers and young um, computer scientists uh, to do is, uh, first of all, you should always have a view of uh, what your next two jobs should be. And, and, and the reason why we have a, a discussion like that is because that actually allows you to think about the best way to plan your career uh, move, moving, moving forward. Atkins has been thinking ahead through 19 positions at IBM as he helped revolutionize information and communication technology. So we're here in the corporate archives and I used to have that IBM Selectric. I think it was that very one, Blue Keys. What here have you had a personal hand in? Well, our archives is really a good reminder of our past because I, I do think our past sort of sets the stage for the present and the future. And this turns out to be the uh, IBM personal computer, uh, which was our entry to making computing uh, smaller. Mm -hmm. And then this was the uh, ThinkPad. Uh, which was uh, the capabilities that we delivered to make computing more mobile. Atkins is looking excitedly at the years ahead, including a new addition to his already bulging portfolio as head of IBM's development team for Africa. When you look at the opportunities in Africa where they have a growing and a, an aspiring middle class, it's actually presenting some opportunities or for, for companies like IBM to participate uh, in that growth. Given all the changes in the industry, in the company, in yourself, if you were just walking through the doors at IBM for the first time today, straight out of school as you did several years ago, do you think that you would be looking 
to spend 30 years at one company. You know, and given our size and given our presence um, around the world and given the areas that we support across hardware, software, and services, it is almost endless opportunities um, in a company um, like, um, like IBM. So you're going for 40, safe to say. Well, you know, <laughs> I, uh, I still have a lot of fight here left. And, uh, you know, um, you know I, I'm not going to put a limit um, in terms of, uh, you know, how long I'll be here and how long I'll be um, in the industry. Uh, but uh, it's, it's safe to say that uh, I, am, I, am, I am still full of energy and I still have quite a bit uh, to accomplish and quite a bit to, uh, you know, in terms of making a difference. And still to come. Make sure we have a plan, address our risk tolerance, and invest now.